What's up everyone? Welcome back to Low Nostalgia, the channel where I low dive into all things nostalgic to me and probably to you as well. Today is a different kind of video than my last few. This is not a pickup haul video. Well, I mean, so, sort of it is. So in my last video, at one of the sales I went to, I actually picked up a vintage Tiger Electronics pinball. I had no idea if it worked. I only paid $1 for it. So I decided that I would get it cleaned up, test it, see what kind of repairs would actually need, and I decided to film that process. So without further ado, let's see if this vintage Tiger Electronics that I literally found buried in what I believe to be a hoarder's house in Detroit, let's see if this actually works. That's not enjoyable at all.
So it was very exciting to see that this actually worked and I do love pinball so it was fun to play. The noises are extremely obnoxious so I'm not 100% sure if those are the actual noises that this thing is supposed to make but I think so. But you may have noticed if you could see some of the gameplay because I'm going to be honest I actually have not watched the footage of me fixing it and everything back before I filmed this part yet. Um, but you could see that there were some parts where the ball was actually kind of like burned into it. So it was very confusing at times because those were right by where the little flippers are. So I think I will make a future video trying to fix that aspect of the screen or maybe it might even require replacing some aspects of it. And I do actually have a whole soldering system on its way. So I will be able to actually disconnect those wires. And so I think I will also be doing some retro brightening on this very soon as well. And that is it for today's video. I I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video. Laters. Bye!